Hi friends, let's discuss how to install Oracle application testing switch. So basically there are two options <coughs> to install OpenScript. Okay, so concentrate, I'm saying two options to install OpenScript, which is the scripting tool. And uh, this is the tool which we are going to use to create our automation scripts. So what are those two options? The one is complete install. Complete install in the sense, we get complete Oracle application testing switch in which we get all the different products or I'll say components when we install these ports. Other ways to install only Oracle application <coughs> open script. Okay, so if you want entire ports, which is entire Oracle application testing suite, which is consist of different integrated products, some like Oracle open script, test manager, load testing, and uh, database. So if you have to install, then you will have to install this complete install. Otherwise, if you are only interested in Oracle open script tool, which is the tool uh, we'll be using to create your automation scripts, then you can install only Oracle open script. <coughs> okay, so the first option is complete install. Okay, and from where you can download the installer file using this link. Which, uh, basically, <coughs> the index is 08446. So I, I'll show you step by step how to get this. The other way is <coughs> installing only Oracle OpenScript for Windows. Okay, so which is a 439 MB file, and uh, with this you are going to get only Oracle OpenScript on your machine, and not the other tools like Oracle Test Manager or Oracle Load Testing. All those things you are not going to get because you are installing only OpenScript. But if you are installing the first one, which is your complete install, you are going to get OpenScript, and along with it you are going to get other products which is Oracle test manager, load testing agent, web logic server and a database. Okay, now let's see quickly <coughs> how to install. So if you search on YouTube how to install Oracle application testing switch, you will hardly get any video as of now. That's the reason I'm uploading a, a very new fresh video which will help the students to know from where to download and how to install it. Ideally, I'm going to in include some tips and tricks to help you to get Oracle application testing suite installed appropriately on your machine without any issues. Okay, because I see there are a lot of forums and a lot of people who encounter Oracle application testing suite installation issues. Generally, the installation gets stuck at 99% or 90% and they, they need to do a clean installation even though after a clean installation sometimes it doesn't get installed properly. So most of the users face issue in complete installation. Okay, so to avoid all these things, I'm going to give you some tricks. The before that, first of all, download a complete installer file. How you are going to do that? Just type Oracle application testing suite download. Okay, so the first link which you are going to get, just click on it. So you'll be navigating to an Oracle website download page. Here, <coughs> Oracle application testing suite download, you'll have to accept the license agreement. Just click on it. And now if you see, I have two different options to install OpenScript. One is a complete install, which is of two GB. Another is OpenScript for Windows, which is of 452 MB. Okay, so only two options. If I want a complete installation, then I'll so my computer is a 64 bit so i am going to download a 64 bit file just click on it and the oracle will ask you a single sign on so basically oracle wants to have the details of the users who are downloading the software so that's the reason it will ask you to enter your user id password if you do not have this you will have to first create your account okay so i have it so i'm going to enter my details the moment i click enter my details and click on sign in the file is going to start downloading. So you can see it's a 2 GB file and it started downloading on my machine. So I'm going to stop it because I already installed it and it's already available on my machine. So once this is done, you are going to unzip that file. Okay. And you are going to get a setup file on your machine. So let me go back here once again. <clears throat> so after you Download that and uh, unzip it. You are going to get a different files. One of the file would be a setup file. So just right click on the setup file and select run as administrator. Okay. So if you if you look at here, I have highlighted it. You will have to click on the setup file and 
select run as administrator this is because to avoid an administrator issue down the line when you install i observe most of my students or most of the colleagues face this kind of issue when they do not have an administrator privilege and they try to install the oracle application testing suite somewhere else at 90 95% they encounter an issue that's the reason i'll recommend you to <coughs> use right click and run as administrator option even though you are downloading only open script at that time also you should use the same thing or if you are downloading a complete install that time also you do it now there is a tip here so here i'll say don't follow the default installation what i mean to say default installation when you generally run a setup file we do not we do not change the default settings whenever whatever we get after clicking next 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 right so here i'll suggest you to do a small change which is nothing but uncheck the database okay so uncheck a database means we are not going to install a database now you will ask question okay then how the database is going to be used or which database is going to be used so for that i'll suggest you to download a separate database before even you install the codes okay so this is the trick i'll say <clears throat> before even you install an oracle application testing suite on your machine you download oracle 11g express edition database okay so with the same way on google you just search oracle xc 11g download and you download an oracle xc database on your machine install it just note down the password which we are going to provide during a database installation do not change the default port which is 1521 do not change any default details while database download okay just note down the password which you are going to give during a database installation once your database installation is done you will get something like this if you look at my machine under all program you are going to see <coughs> oracle database 11g express edition if you click on this you are going to see different kinds of option over here okay you just click on get started and you try to log in so the moment you click on get started it will take some time to load and you will see some different option click on the sessions and use the user id and password the username generally sys or system so by default for this oracle 11g express edition database the default username would be sys or system so provide the sys username and the password would be the one which you have given during the installation okay so once you provide this and click on login so let me show you here right away what i did i have installed the oracle 11g database on my machine first I have completed installation with the default settings and now I am going to click on getting started under Oracle 11G Express get started. I am going to get this page. Just click on sessions. And here you can see username. You can either provide sys or system. Sys should be in capital. Just provide the password which you have provided during an installation and click on login. If you are able to log in successfully, this indicates your database installation is appropriate and it's up and running so you don't have to bother other things so just <clears throat> either you click log out or close the browser now you come back on your oats installation so you understood the tip right i'm saying before you even start installing the oracle application testing suite on your machine first download oracle 11g express edition database Try to log in and see and make sure that your database is up and running. Now, select a custom install option during installing. <clears throat> when you click, when you are running the setup file, which you will be doing right click and run as administrator, you will get two options. One is a first one, which will be by default selected one. The other one radio button would be a custom install. So you select a custom install and click next. Then you will be landing on this page where it will tell you or where it, it will indicate you what all the different components you are going to install as part of this installation. So you uncheck the Oracle XC database component. Okay, the one which I have highlighted in yellow, you just uncheck that. And now you click on next, next, next. So somewhere else down the line, it will detect automatically that you have some database on your machine. Would you like to use that database? You have to say yes. And then you have to say, I'll have, I'll configure it. And now, it will fetch the default database settings automatically. You just need to provide the password of a database. Remember, you just need to give a password of a database now, which you have provided earlier during a database installation. Fine. 
So just provide a password and now you click on next, next and next. And now hopefully everything will get installed without any issues. Fine. So thanks for this. I'm going to upload some more videos. So stay tuned and keep on watching this space for to learn Oracle application testing suite. Thank you. You can drop me an email as well if you have any queries or any training requirement on thawali.saurabh10 at gmail.com. You can find it in the comment section also. Thank you.